Hi and a very good day to everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you about how to modify your room names in Revit by using Dynamo. Okay, in this case, uh, we want to get or we want to modify the, all the room names for the Revit project to be uppercase to get the consistency for the project file. So we want to show about how to create it easily by using Dynamo. Okay, first we go to we go to project file or any project file that you are using. For me, I just use the basic sample project architecture model here and open up the view. Uh, open up the model. Okay, next, uh, for example, we can go to the four plans view. Okay, this is just to to monitor the change of our room names alphabet or the room names case so we can see here the our room name combination of the upper okay, the first word first alphabet and lower case for the rest okay so how we want to change this all room names for level one level two or if you got if you have 50 floor hundreds floor so how you want to change it in a quick way or in a simple way using Dynamo. Okay. So let's go. First, we go to the manage tab and we go to Dynamo. Then create new. Okay. Now you have this Dynamo canvas. Okay. First, we must insert our first node. First node that is categories. You can search here or you can search at right click and search at the dynamo canvas if you search here at the search bar you can get the where the folder of the notes in okay for example we want to search for category so you can see that it is the under selection so for next time if you lost or you forgot where to get the notes you already remember that it is under the selection okay the selection folder or selection category and the Revit and then under selection so we go to Revit and then the selection you find categories here so it's the same it's just uh, where you want to find it if you forgot the note names for example so if you remember you can just type search category so it will also Point for you okay so you get the categories node and then next our next node will be the to select all elements all elements of you can see the selection also go to Revit and go to selection all elements of category so you must remember it's under the Revit folder and subfolder of selection so both nodes under the subfolder selection and then next uh, we want to get the get parameter value by name okay we want to get get the parameter value of this by name of this first okay and the category we got we find rule Then we just connecting the nodes here. Then we find the, our next node element get or oh, get element by name. See the element here. Element. Okay, get parameter values by name. You see under the Revit folder, in the subfolder of element, not elements, and the subfolder of elements, and then sub subfolders of element. See, 
first you go to the Revit folder and then subfolder of elements and then point element under it. Then you get the cat parameter, parameter value by name. Next we want then we okay so we want to get the parameter value by name of these categories which is rooms. So just connect to it then we the element type in code block and then type in name and connect it to the elements okay this or uh this interchange okay, elements here so means we want to element get parameter from the element by this value of name so we want to get it from the name of the rooms element so here okay, we can pin it so you can view it this means that we want to get the, the parameter from the elements that we have choose for example this room so we want to get the parameter and par parameter name for the categories for the element that is under their name which is the room name so we connect to it so it will result in room names and then we want to select the string from object we go to this folder see the string click the drop down and we want to generate generate we want to string from object so we want to generate string from this object so we use this node then connect it and then we want to after we generate then we want to modify this string so we go to the modify subfolder and then there's has built in to upper you see this string to upper so we want to change it to the upper case as this is our example for this for our example and then we just connect it okay and then the modifying to upper case so we want to generate or want to set new parameter name for the elements so we find the rabbit under the rabbit folder elements then find element you want to set set parameter by name okay set parameter by name then this string act and, and then we for the element we choose this categories we as uh, we want to set the element set the parameter the latest parameter name for this room okay so room is our element okay and then parameter name we want to get the information for all the name for the elements so this is our parameter the code block name here It means that uh, okay we want to change this parameter name for this element so we want to change the name for the room elements okay and then we want to change or set the parameter by using what we do we want to get from the upper value this string then we connect this. okay and then we see the run completed if you manually you can just click run and then it's, it, it, it will be completed then you can see here all of our room names have been changed to uppercase in a blink of an eye so it is a very simple step for you okay level 2 also have been changed so this is very important if you operating the architecture model 
that consists that project that high rise project or for example consists of 50th floor 100 floors and so on or many buildings or wings so yeah i hope this tutorial will help all the best for your project application so that's all from me for this video thank you and thanks for watching